morning, my dear Torres. My name is Tava Ben Armanake. You can call me at Eva, and I'm your tour guide for today. But first, let me tell you a few reminders. One, put your trust in a proper place. Two, never leave your thing unattended to avoid unnecessary. And three, enjoy the every moment in your destination. And I'm here to welcome and introduce you to the most famous attraction that you can enjoy here in France. So let's go! For many years, France has been the world's top tourist destination. France was one of the first countries to recognize the importance of tourism setting up. Tourism, office since 1910. It is the reason why much of the hospitality dictionary terminology is French origin as narrated by Bonifis 2016. He further elaborated that among the factors that contribute to the success of France are being the largest country in Europe, it has 5,500 kilometers of coastline, means lots of resort in beach line. The country is in the form of hexagon with natural natural boundaries formed by the Rhine River, mountain ridge, and sea. It has the fine weather brought by the ideal landscape features. While it has abundance of sunshine, it was combined with the mild winter that allows a prolonged tourism season. Especially in Nice, France, and Saint Tropez, the opposite, opposite Eastern France has continental climate with a cold winter with mountains idea for ski resort. French culture has been widely emulated, starting in Middle Ages with Gothic style of architecture and ideal of chivalry. France is located in Western Europe. France is bordered by the English Channel and Bay of Biscay to the west, Belgium, Luxembourg, and Germany to the north, Switzerland and Italy to the east and Adora and Spain to the south. France is located in Western Europe. So from the boulevard of Paris to the fashionable seaside resort of the Côte d'Azur, France offers some of the most beautiful scenery in the world. Eiffel Tower, the symbol of Paris. The Eiffel Tower is a feat of ingenuity as much as it is a famous landmark. These structures of 80,000 metallic parts were designed by Gustave Eiffel as a temporary exhibit for the World Fair of 1889. Originally loaded by critics, the 320 meters high tower is now a beloved and irreplaceable picture of the Paris skyline, Louvre Museum, in a stately palace that was one a royal residence. The Louvre rocks among the top European collection of fine art. Many of Western civilization's most famous works are found here, including the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci, the Wedding Feast in Cana by the Vermeer and the 1st century B.C. Venus de Milo sculpture. France Rivera or the Côte d'Azur The most fashionable trait of the coastline in France. The Côte d'Azur extends from the St. Tropic to Mentoners, the border with Italy. Côte d'Azur translates to Coast of Blue, a fitting name to describe the Mediterranean mesmerizing Cerulean waters. To English speaking, this glamorous design destination is known as the French Rivera words that have a ring of sandwich decadence. During summer, the seaside resorts are packed with beach lovers and sun worshippers. Sun worshippers, the rich and famous, are also found here in their lavish villas and luxurious yachts. Art de Trompe. It is one of the most famous monuments in Paris. France standing at the western end of the Champs Elysees at the century of Palace Charles de Gaulle. Formerly named as Palace de Italy, the Italy or star of the junction formed by its 12 radiating avenues. The Arc de Trompe honors the who fought and dead for France in the French Revolutionary and uh, Napoleonic War. Aquitaine Region Aquitaine is among the most diverse regions of France, with magnificent long Atlantic shortened beaches, cities such as Bordes and Beret, the largest forest in France. And the lovely countryside of Dordogne and Le Garonne departments, dot with medieval villages, wooded valleys, and medieval castles. The region is too extensive to fully explore all the possible places to visit in one trip. So you will need to choose your priorities countryside or coast, villages or cities, vineyards or the castles. And that's all. I hope you can enjoy the most famous attraction here in France. Thank you for watching. God bless and bye-bye.